Hello everybody, thanks for joining for another daily directed draw today. Today we're going to be doing a paint palette and some paint brushes. So go ahead and grab your pencil, your paper, and whatever else you may need, and we'll get started. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and start with the paint brushes here. So we're going to go top layer to bottom one. So for the paint brush, you're going to do the diagonal and down. Here's at the bottom, and goes back up. And then from there, we are going to go to the bottom, which goes out. Okay. And then have it in the position there. And add the brush. So for that, we're going to do a curve line up, straight line over, and then just add some thicker lines to help it work more with the paintbrush. So just light touches with your pencil or your marker. Fantastic. And then we're going to add the other paintbrush behind it. So again, we're going to do a diagonal line down. Stop, and then you contact with your first brush, lift your pencil, and start again. Curve it around, and back up. And now we'll start with a little bit of a this time. And slightly diagonal line over, and slightly diagonal line down. For this type of brush, we're going to do a curve line up to a point, point down, point up to match, and again just add those lighter lines to look at the paintbrush. And we're going to add some more detail lines to these, just to add that fine detail. Alright, so now that we have our paintbrushes, we need our paint to paint with. So we're going to go ahead and do our palette. So we'll start with a line that curves in from that paintbrush. From there, you're going to put it up and do it around. And then you're going to put those two brushes. And you're going to curve up and do it around. Put those brushes. And then I'm going to put it like this to So now we have the outline of the palette. And then I'll go. And then we'll make that look more realistic after you draw that bubble. Put a curve down on the inside. And then again, to make this look more realistic, we're going to add this outer line. We'll give it that depth and dimension. Okay. And then the last step is just to add some organic shapes. Where the paint will be. I've never squeezed out paint in a perfect shape, so these can be however you envision it, however many you want. Alright, so now we have our paint brushes and our paint palette. You can just decide what color paint you put on yours and how you color yours. I chose to make mine look like a wooden one, but be as creative as you would like with this. Have some fun! Have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are loved, noticed, and important. And I miss all of you a lot and hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. I'll see you back tomorrow.